I think I want uh, one or two oatmeal cookies. So what I've done is I've taken the uh, recipe that's on the box of the oatmeal, uh, old fashioned oats, and I'm breaking this recipe down. So I don't wanna make a half of a recipe. I wanna make like a fourth of a recipe. So I'm softening up four tablespoons of butter. Um, I'm gonna use, in this bowl, I've got about a half a cup of flour. I've got a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda. I've got a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon. I've got less than a pinch of a salt. And instead of one cup of raisins, I'm gonna add this box of raisins, cause that's all I got. And then I'm gonna break these down, the rest of these ingredients into fourths and see if I can make me just either one big oatmeal cookie or two oatmeal cookies. Cause I only want enough oatmeal cookies to satisfy me for today. I don't wanna make a whole batch. So come along with me as I do that. So this is the butter and the sugar. So let me show y'all what I did. I decided to do a half a cup of brown sugar and a fourth of a cup of regular granulated sugar. I got one egg that I'm getting ready to go in here and I'm going to do maybe a half a teaspoon of vanilla and drop it in here. And I just mixed it, this with my spoon. I didn't feel like this is the butter and the sugar. I didn't feel like whooping out no, uh, I got a hand mixer. I didn't feel like whooping out no hand mixer because I think this is creamy enough. So I'm going to add the egg and the vanilla and then the flour mixture that we mixed up already. And then I'm going to add maybe a cup of oats. This recipe for a full um, uh, thing of cookies is calling for three cups of oats. I'm going to use about a cup of oats. And then uh, add the raisins and I'm going to have me a nice fantastic oatmeal cookie for what? Yeah, baby. And this is what it looks like with the flour added. So in here is the eggs, the butter, the sugars, the flour mixture. I'm getting ready to add the oats and the raisins. And all I'm using is this little one little box of raisins I got. And I'm going to use a cup of oats. And then we're going to be ready to make us a cookie or two. <laughs> and there we have it. It's going to make two nice size cookies. You know, two big nice size cookies, which is plenty for me. That's plenty for me. So I wanted to do this little recipe and just show you how to number one, break down a recipe. And then number two, just prove to you that even if you are just doing stuff for you, you at home alone and you want stuff and you got the ingredients, you can still have that thing and you don't have to go overboard and you don't have to make a whole batch. And I could have made a whole batch and frozen, but I didn't want to do all of that. I just wanted to see if I could break it down. So it got one or two cookies just for one person. And then you have some to have with your coffee or just as a snack or whatever, but there it is. I'm gonna put it on a, a sheet pan. I'm gonna stick it back in the uh, refrigerator for about five minutes because anytime you're making cookies with butter, I want that butter to, to uh, get a little cold before I put them in a hot oven because a lot of times those cookies will spread out faster than I want them to as the butter melts it. So I'm gonna put them on a cookie sheet and then put them back in the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes and then put them in the oven. Okay, here's how they look on the cookie sheet. I kind of press them down a little bit And they're just for me, so ignore that little scar. That was me cleaning the cuticle, messing it up. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's just me. This is all for me, y'all. It ain't for nobody else. But I just press them down a little bit, and then I'm going to put them back in the refrigerator for about 5 to 10 minutes, and then I'm going to bake them on 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, there are my two cookies fresh out of the oven. We're going to let them cool for a few minutes on this rack, and then I'm going to eat one of them before I go walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's beauty right there, baby. It's still warm. I'm going to eat it, though, <laughs> before I go walk. 